Hi everyone. Hi. It's Tuesday of Holy Week and we're back and uh, we need to tell you that we're a little late getting this one done because we had major technical problems with our recording yeah. and so uh, this one is well rehearsed. Yeah. Let's say it like that. <laughs> yeah, well said, yeah. So, so uh, here we are. It's Tuesday and yesterday we had uh, Jesus turning over the temples and driving out the money changers from the temple. Yeah. Super and angry. Super yeah. angry. And today is Tuesday and he's teaching in the temple. Now, where do these days come from? And some people have asked, uh, what's the order? Where do I look this up? And there's, there's four Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, John. They all have little different versions yeah. of Holy Week and what happened on what day. They don't have the same order. They don't quite have the same sequence, and they have different uh, details in each one. Right. So we're kind of following the Lucan reading, the, the readings from the Gospel of Luke, and adding in some other stuff. Yeah. So if you want to read along, look in Luke for this one. Jesus is teaching in the temple, and he's teaching a lot. He tells a parable. He has some sayings. And... Uh, and people are absolutely captivated. Everything that he's saying, they're hanging on his every word. And that's a problem. Yeah. Because the story of Holy Week is the story of escalating conflict. Conflict between Jesus and the religious authorities and the government authorities. And the problem is people are listening. Yeah. The people is people the problem is people are following Jesus. They're paying attention to Jesus. He's giving them a lot of hope and a lot of truth, mm -hmm. and the authorities find this problematic. They hate he, it. He's they a hate threat. Jesus. Yes, Jesus, a threat. Jesus is a threat to the status quo. So he's in the temple, and the, he's teaching. The religious authorities are going, who are you? By what authority do you say these things? And um, he responds with more teaching. Yeah. The teaching itself is the authority mm -hmm. and one of the big things he says on tuesday of holy week is render unto caesar the things that are caesar's and to god the things that are god these religious authorities came to him they asked him a question it was a trap should we pay taxes to caesar or not right and and so that's a really tricky question because if jesus says absolutely give taxes, you know, give to Caesar. Well, then he's sort of betraying his previous teaching. But if he says, nope, don't give Caesar any money, then he's going against the, the government. He's going against Caesar. And uh, so Either way, he gets in he trouble. He loses, yes. So these religious authorities are like, we got him. They were so proud of themselves. <laughs> but then Jesus got them. And he says, render to... Oh, she says, show me the coin. And he asked for a specific coin. He asked for a denarii. Right. which is a large coin and it represents a whole day's work and on that coin there's the image of Caesar Caesar mm -hmm. and he says give me a coin give me a denarii and they give him one he says whose image is this and that's Caesar's and he says render to Caesar the things that are Caesar's and to God the things that are God mm -hmm. now this is more than just wiggle room out of a trap right. <laughs> yeah. yeah this is a very important statement that doesn't answer the question, but asks us to answer the question. It, what are the things that belong to God, and what are the things that belong to Caesar? Right. It makes it makes us really think, because, yeah, because the first time I read that, I was like, oh, sneaky Jesus. But really, it really is more than that. What, what does belong to God, and what belongs to Caesar? That's a really difficult question that I think that today we still struggle with. Well, did you pay your taxes yesterday? <laughs> Then, exactly, exactly. I did. Yeah. I did pay them. So how do we begin? How, how are you thinking uh, an answer just from you on this one? What do you, yeah. what does it make you think of? That, well, that's really hard. Um, but I, for me, I always remember that God is my creator and that God created me and everything, everything. And so for me, I'm like, well, then everything is God's. Oh my gosh, that's so hard to give God everything. It's it's overwhelming, but it uh, it's not unreasonable because God gave us everything. Mm -hmm. So yeah, what about you? Well, uh, uh, that He asked for the coin is important, and that He asked, "What image is this? Who's who? Who's, yeah. who's on here?" And that whole language of image 
connects to what you just said about God being the creator. Human beings are created in the image of God. Mm -hmm. So uh, what the road we can go down on that is, well, we belong to God. Yeah. And what should be rendered to God is us. Oof. And us personally. Mm -hmm. and, and everything else is just stuff. Right. Everything else uh, is not full of meaning and purpose and significance. Yeah. So maybe think along those lines for your Tuesday mm -hmm. and think about uh, what you have and who you are and where things belong, including yourself. We'll see you tomorrow.